welcome back everybody to another episode of anno 1800 so i have a little bit of bad news oh i mean it could be taken either way i found a mod that is supposed to reduce the amount of crap that you need to fulfill in order to actually build the skyline tower as far as like the you know recommendations and stuff like that mostly it deals with the number of level five skyscrapers that you need um yeah here's the uh long story short it does not work i have tried multiple different ways to get it to work i tried it in a different session it didn't do anything it's still keeping to the same so we are gonna have to get at this the hard way but you know what it's gonna be even more worth it right because that's the way the game was intended to be played that being said i have gone over here to ditch water and i have upgraded all of these engineer homes to investor homes so we're going to work on some additional skyscrapers over here i think in total we're going to need around 60. i i could be very wrong but i i'm not sure what we can do now is because i have been working just a little bit on uh getting some more level five skyscrapers up i will say that i'm no longer going to be really working on upgrading much of the buildings over here if at all it really will depend on if I look at it and I'm like, okay, that doesn't really look right, then sure, I'll change it. But as it currently stands, there's around 40, maybe from its a little bit more than that over here of level 5 skyscrapers. And yeah, I think that's pretty sufficient. Yeah, like I'm not giving the cursed toys to them. So why would they even want toys? Have we ever stopped to really think about that? And you know, there's also one other thing that's starting to scare me. Why is it that every single one of my investor towers now have anarchist signs on them? Should I be worried right now? Because, like, let me see if I can zoom in. Take action now. Hugo Mercer, right over there. Anarchy for all, or not at all. Okay? Why? What? What is happening? Take action now. What? What the actual living hell is happening? And they're all over. They're not even upset. Is this like a bug or something? I have no clue. I I'm not going to mess around with it too much. And but one thing... Yeah, I, I know. No purpose. I know, I know. Can you give me like a second? There you go. I'm giving you toothpaste this now. Is short. So, I'm a little bit freaked out when it comes to all of these little anarchist signs and whatnot over here. I also tweaked a little bit of the settings for my mic and the OBS to see if the uh, the background noise is actually going to come into play here. I don't think it will, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, but what we can start off by doing is because we've actually fulfilled the conditions, we can start building this behemoth. So let's set that to task. How long is it going to take? 30 minutes. So we'll at least see this one, uh, this stage at least, completed this episode, which is going to be fantastic. And what we can do is... Uh, oh yeah, that's also... that's happening. I have a lot of ships over here. Uh, what I was starting to want to do is actually set up an oil route with the San Juan 2 and the Winged Monkey. That's an interesting name. From per two, that has a lot of oil, and we're going to have to bring it over to Ditchwater because Ditchwater is kind of suffering when it gets to the whole oil consumption and whatnot. I don't like that it's this low. Uh, we are sustaining it, but it's just it's not enough right now. I don't know what's really going on with the routes. But uh, yeah, these engineer homes are also going to be upgraded to investor homes. They'll probably look like these uh, steampunk homes. But uh, for the time being, they definitely need to be upgraded. No, we don't want them to be skyscrapers. We want them to be investors. There we go. And we are going to change their building skin nice and easy. One more should do it. Yep, there we go. Well, if people aren't all smiles, a perfect advert, but something's up. I know the mouth breathers are buying, but the numbers don't add. <laughs> the mouth breathers are buying. <laughs> I love this man so much. Okay, I'm going to upgrade some more of these homes to engineers because uh, we're kind of like on that weird edge of... Um, we have enough, but we don't have enough. It's it's kind of awkward. I don't like it anymore. And we're going to change their building skin to the red top. There we go. And the good thing about it is they have electricity, so that'll be pretty good. I don't know why these guys aren't upgrading. Oh, yeah. It's because I don't have enough timber. I should probably go and get some more. That way I can actually do what I need to do. But we are bringing some elevators over here to ditch water. Steam carriages are also coming to Ditchwater, along with some good specialists. Excuse me. 
for these um these uh town halls that's what it's called and uh we have empty spots over here so i can like obviously put down uh, members clubs and stuff for them i think they would My want it right gratitude. uh yeah they are kind of well no where is the members club it's right over here production isn't it? has stopped oh now this jackass is gonna constantly uh, production has stopped production has started production has stopped i'm losing my fucking mind so we're i'm actually gonna work on ditch water and that this is a very rare moment I, I want it known but i have to figure out where i want to start building An explosion the... in one of your factories seriously so yeah really really a fire broke out oh yeah thank you thank you how much you getting paid for telling me the fucking obvious Put one here and one here, because clearly that's going to be a problem. Oh my god. Oh yeah, so what I also did, and uh, I don't know what kind of really took over this idea, but I went ahead and put concrete floor, like, practically everywhere on Isengard, in areas that we, like, we're not going to be expanding on anymore. So, um, yeah, that, that it kind of looks interesting. I think once we get the Skyline Tower in here, this, this place is going to look badass. And uh, what I'm going to do behind it, I'm going to put, like, a little town hall. So we can at least give some of the good specialists for them to be content. Because uh, obviously the pollution here is pretty fucking bad. Okay, it's a revolting settlement. There, there's nothing great about being an icing card right now. Except if you want to come and work and get the hell out. You know, but um, these guys should still be doing their thing. Yeah, they're grabbing all they need. They, they have to go from over here. Oh, what's happening here? Uh, tailing the engine. found discrepancies. I don't like to point the finger, but sounds like Miss Jenny's spritzing our budget on personal endeavors. I think you're more discreet than me. Think you can check? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, bud. I can do These it. These are changing times, partner. Industrial secrets are worth their weight. And I'm not about to chip away at my worth. Okay, find Miss Jenny in Constantinople. Uh, right over here. I must hurry. Oh, I do hope the harbor was a good spot to pick. Oh, boy. Where's she going? Why is she walking like that? Oh, what'd she say? It really would be preferable to acquire the oils on my own terms, but he seems trustworthy. Uh, I want to see if I can get down to the ground level and see if I can follow her. Yeah, she has no idea I'm tailing her. At all. Hey, it's not safe to be on the train tracks. Hello? A bit of a coup securing their expertise. Okay, no, you do you, boo. Uh, we're we're here. The fire has been vanquished. Yeah, I have to see if she's actually saying anything. Follow and listen to her, okay. Oh, Mr. Brokeman, what what the hell? A oh, motherfucker. Oh, yeah, I have to fix that as well. Okay, and then Old World again. Mr. Bader's doing... This is not a safe spot to be having a freaking conversation. Yes, he's having me watch. I can feel it. I want to help, but I can't lose my livelihood over this. You understand? Yeah. Take a photo. Can we take the photo when the train is going to hit him? Nope, that train is going that direction. Do we have another one coming? Clearly not. Okay. Wait, what was that? A camera flash? Oh no! Theodora, what are you- You were followed! The people celebrate your leadership. Oh, he sent you. Please at least allow me to clarify the situation before you report back to Mr. Bader. Ah, eh, sure, why not? The people celebrate your leadership. Okay. I yeah, hope the personal process of social emancipation. Get the project sales figure you to convince him. I desperately need to finish the prototype first. Will you help me? Uh, no. I, I have to report this. I'm no longer surprised Mr. Bader thinks of you as one of his betters. You're all the same as far as I'm concerned. Do what you must. Yep, I will. Whoa! Who'd have thought funny little Miss Jenny could be so daring? Wait, is that Brokeman? 
That's my lawyer! Huh! Well, you give them an inch and they take a mile. Seems the guy used his vacation to grow his spine. Pretty sure my lawyer grows weary of his vacation. Can hardly be relaxing with treason on his mind. Cut it short, would ya? I got it, man. I'll cut him short. And guess what? He's right next to the fucking prison, so I'm gonna throw him right in there, too. Ha! <laughs> I recall him mentioning a fancy cruise ship. Looks like his next item on the docket is a surprise pickup. I love this man. I love him. He's a man after my own heart. Holy crap. Where's the Enterprise? It's a coming. It's all the way by Quietus, so it's going to take some time. Okay, do we have what we need in order to upgrade these guys to skyscrapers? No, we do not because they don't have electricity in there. That is the problem. Yeah, so uh, when we have more oil coming through here, we definitely will be able to fix this situation very easily. Because Pertu does have a decent amount of oil stores. So hopefully with those two ships coming over with at least 800, it'll be fantastic. Uh, but until that, we can't actually upgrade any of these um, places. And it's okay. We're just going to watch the Enterprise 2.0 go and pick up this dickhead and hand him over to Donnie because it's important. No one crosses Donnie when I'm around, okay? He's my best friend now. Our number one advisor. <laughs> Some of the workers are scared of heights. What in God's name did they expect? This stunt is wasting us money. Any ideas? Well, okay, uh, I, I love you, right? But look at where they're working. <laughs> they're right against a sheer cliff, my guy. They can be a little bit scared. Maybe. We'll, we'll see what they want. <laughs> Send a bishop to reassure them. <laughs> oh, God. Um, hold on. <laughs> Provide harnesses for all. Pay 20 Kalcha. Current amount is 100. Ignore their concerns. <laughs> it is for 30 minutes. We're in the presence of a virtuoso. Who the hell are you? Damn, what? That's crazy. Okay, well, uh, requires a priest on the island. Uh, we can... Let, let's provide them with harnesses, ah, sure. That's great, boss. The lads and I appreciate you taking action. Uh, I got you, man. I got you. Don't worry. Safety harnesses and equipment. <laughs> Well, if you feel like burning money, you can go right ahead. I wasn't burning money. It was resources that we had, my guy. Oh, I see the Enterprise coming. Oh, I want to pick up this douche real bad now. <laughs> Could have had him right here, right to Eli. And Eli doesn't like me right now too much. I, I don't think because like every single one of the missions that he wants me to do for him, I just auto decline. <laughs> More than ready. Oh, you know, I have expeditions I never cared about. The storm. Okay, 85%, 115. And then botanical. Oh, they returned. Nice. Nice. Oh, okay. Let me take those. Ooh. Oh, we're maxed here. Hell yeah, let's fucking go. Okay, well, it's also because there's a festivity going on. So, um... That's 400 additional. But yeah, maxed out uh, Rantium. That's freaking for a Mr. crazy. Brokeman. Well, that's me. Yeah. And Mr. Beta needs to see me. Is, is it really so urgent? Uh, I'm on holiday. I don't give a fuck. The Sign people the celebrate your leadership. You're coming with me. You want to mess with my friend Donnie? My friend Donnie. You are going to get such an ass whooping. It's going to be hilarious. Let's go. Uh, I'm unsurprised my vacation's being cut short. Mr. Bader is choleric at the best of times, though usually not without cause. Eh, well, you know, uh, something happened. I won't tell you what happened. Idealism is rare. Maybe I was hoping that 
By helping her, I could reclaim some of my own drive. Oh, here we I'm go. Tired. Really tired. You sly dog! You caught me monologuing. <laughs> would never appreciate the virtues of this product. Immediate gains are his sole measure of success. Blind to other kinds of worth. Not like Dora. Oh, you mean Miss Jenny? Uh, again, I was not aware that I asked this man to give me his opinion. Our artisan population is getting a little low. Our workers are okay, so we're going to have to work on that at some point. But right now, it's really important just to get this guy over here and uh, get to working on this foundation, along with hopefully gaining enough oil in Ditchwater to start building up some more skyscrapers over there. And I'll probably build engineer skyscrapers over there. There is a section over on the left side of the heart, not the, the oil harbor, that we can probably start with some skyscrapers for them as I well. I normally give Mr. Bader space when he's having one of his little tantrums. It's the reason I'm still his lawyer, and I'd like to keep it that way. Are you sure I need to see him now? Hey, if you wanted to stay his lawyer, maybe you shouldn't have been an idiot and, uh, do dumb shit. Well, the only way out of this I... is through. Yep, let's go. I'm gonna take the Enterprise back here. Ah, Mr. Broke Man, how was the vacation? Huh? The Miss work? Spill. You must have. Got yourself into a bit of a muddle with my assistant, didn't you? <laughs> well, Brokeman, now you have unique insight into this conspiracy against my company. You can file the case against her. So, get your papers together and show me whose side you're on. Where did he... What the hell? Of course, it's just... Well, before boarding the cruise, I misplaced my briefcase and and the papers you requested they're in there production has stopped there it is we dropped them off here mr brokeman can finally earn his wages miss jenny will be notified of the hearing arrangements good man Is that it? I don't remember. We Never. settled out of court. Miss Jenny could not afford a lawsuit. She's agreed to forego her vacation and work overtime on our patents. This should make up for the time we lost to her bid at independence. Okay, well we got lipstick. That's yes, that's cool. Yes, this is how a business should be run. I Ship lead. Everyone in. else follows. I'm the one with the nose for profit. Damn right. A bit of a coup securing their expertise. Okay, I need to get those freaking specials over here. Did I? Are they done yet? Uh, they need to go over the ditch water. You stay here. There's another one. Mr. Garrick. Where's Mr. Garrick at? Well, at least this one is going to be okay for now, because then these guys will no be given... No glass ceiling to obstruct me from fulfilling my potential. Do we not have coffee here? Seriously? Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to up it then. Uh, 300 will do. Because now we won't have enough coffee to sustain all these people. Yep, coffee is for sure going down. Unless I bring that one dude that, like, completely nullifies the More coffee need, ready. he's on Rantium. Uh, I need to do a, a wide turn with the Enterprise. Okay, are you good over here? Are you working? Do you have what you need? Yeah, nice. Okay, so uh, I think the very first skyscraper we can make is uh, this one. And we are building up. But that's going to be our very first one. So let's get this whole section up here. Because we're going to build it essentially around this uh, town hall right over here. I couldn't put it in the middle, which really sucks. So I'm not going to get into all that. So we're going to have a lot of level fives How over in this thrilling. corner. A renowned personage has arrived. Unless I can actually... Where can I put the second one? 
Uh, overlapping radius right here with them? Uh, yeah. I mean, I didn't really want to... Uh, I don't know. I mean, that would make sense to a degree. I could probably move the hospital into another spot. Like, probably over here, and it'll be better. Okay, hold on. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Because I want... Your people are starting to get sick. Jesus Christ, where now? Anybody hear about, like, washing your hands, for Christ's sake? Is that so damn difficult? Where, where's the epidemic? Oh. Oh, no. Not here. Not, no. I... Oh, boy. Uh, boy. Uh, no, 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 no. Construction area is blocked, but I could probably just build on top of them. No, I'm gonna... This is temporary. This is definitely not going to stay here. Uh, get one section gone from here. Get one piece over there gone. Two in the middle, and then we're just gonna build a road across. There we go. This, this is not gonna stay here. We are not in any which way, shape, or form ready to get back here. The people celebrate your leadership. Not at all. Okay, so with these guys, we can start putting some of the specialists in, I would assume. We can also work on this side. That'll be pretty good. And then what I was referring to were these particular buildings here. So, like, we can make these into skyscrapers for engineers. Very, very simple. And it's actually, you know what? It's fit in the steampunk vibe, I think, because of the color scheme. Yeah, all right. I, I, I can dig it. I can dig it. Uh, well, what do they need now? They are going to need the furniture st or department store, rather. Yeah, the department store. So we are going to have to put that one probably back here. And it's it'll fit. I just didn't get rid of this thing. Or, you know what I could potentially do? Get rid of this, and we can, like, pop it right in the middle here. Yeah. That'll be pretty cool. While my mind feeds on ideas, these shelves do not. Do we actually have all the stuff here that we need for that for the long term? Uh, we do have steel. We do have what was it? Coal. The arts and crafts movement. No, we have zinc and filaments. Do we have enough filaments here? Has stopped. We have eight hundred ninety-seven. Yeah, I guess we're I guess we're golden. Perfect. Okay, so that works well. But it's not gonna stay at just that. We're gonna have to also put in the uh, furniture store later on. So. Let's go ahead and then, like probably put down that thing like right here. Admiral, Admiral. And then later on we're gonna need the drugstore. Uh, where are we gonna put that though? I'm kind of keen on moving the administration building. What is it doing? It's for the um the electricity. Okay. Yeah, maybe not. I can just put it back here. I can move the um. University one over. That way we have a little road connection going behind. And then... Can you leave me alone? Apparently not. And then build this over to back here. And I'm just going to blueprint the uh, the drugstore. The drugs? There we go. So that should start there. We're also going to have to work on beautification over here at some point. I don't know when. Uh, they have no panorama here, but they are still missing residents, so we're just going to give them some time. And everything should be golden. Alrighty, how is it looking over here? We are four or five minutes out. There we go, five minutes out. That's the main thing I want to work on, but apparently it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Um... What should I put in the middle here? I want it to be simple. Maybe temperate growth? Yep. That's pretty good. Oh, that was all in blueprint, wasn't it? Mother. There we go. And we need to start building some parks, man. This is important. Uh, we're going to keep to the steampunk then. Can you fit one of these in here? No, that thing's just too massive. I thought it would be fine. Nope. Ain't going to happen. We can have the Celestial Fountain over here. Obviously, we need Eva right over here. And get this little thingy. 
two of the tiles. Over in this corner, let's just do the pipe network. We'll have a little aquarium right over here. Uh, get the clock and then just some paving. Pretty cool. Oh, please tell me this is going to work. Yes, there we go. Hell yeah. This is the city of steampunk. And we need to keep to it as much as possible. Uh, let's... Which way do you turn when you go up? I want to see. Come on. You face this direction. That's a better way. Looking good. The epidemic left buildings abandoned. Oh, well, that's a sad state of affairs, isn't it? Where can I put this thing? I need a good spot for it. Over here. That's where I'm going to put that big boy. Uh, another celestial fountain. Uh, we don't need another one of her. Yeah, I know. Jesus. Oh, what the fuck? What happened here? All right, built that one back up. It's okay, shit happens. Okay, can we upgrade you? We're getting close. And then you are going to need the biscuits next, which I am bringing in biscuits right now. Typewriters are still a little bit of a problem. Um, I think it's because I just, I don't have enough being produced. Or rather, there's not enough lacquer that's being produced in order for them to actually, like, boost up more production of the typewriters. Uh, so that's 18. How much... Where's the other one? Yeah, see, like, they're not even producing enough of that shit. That's what sucks. And I can't... I don't know where else to put them. They're 15 seconds of pop. Oh, we also need to start bringing these things in. Yeah, so that's going to be next. Um, another ship for me, please. We're going to go with the Thunderclap. Thunderclap is the name of the Monk Gap Closer ability. Uh, let's go ahead and... Where's the cognac? There it is. Let's send it over to Ditchwater. No, that's the lacquer. Oh, God. Nope, 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 nope. They look the fucking same. Where's the other one? We only have nine? Oh, shit. Well, that's not good. Yeah, discard all the changes. Massive supply chain. Uh, we might have to head back to New World for some time, guys. A bit of a coup securing their expertise. Okay, well, at least we'll be able to get them up to the level threes. That should Production be pretty good. Stopped. That's a good one. This is a good one. You're a good one. Yeah, I, I don't know why you have to have like a crap ton of these level 5 skyscrapers in order to get that thing built. But at least it's going up. I can dig it. And then we'll build this one over here. You should still be in range. You are not in range. That's fantastic. Okay. Well, the next thing is going to be chewing gum, but I need to also go over here and, uh, yeah, you know, I'll just use him here. Doesn't matter. Get those guys over here, Mr. Garrick, and, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep these guys here. Well, not, not all of them. You can stay. Well, you can stay. Because I have these two town halls, so I'll start working on putting these guys in here, little by little. So we have a decent, you know, change of scenery, I guess. And we're going to go ahead and upgrade all this stuff to make it Steampunk 5. So that means I'm going to get rid of these trees, uh, and instead change it out with the pipe network. Where's the... There it is. Have the pipe network go through here. That works better. Okay, 
Thank you for coming. I appreciate you. We're going to put them into these spots. So first one's going to be this one. Then Mr. Garrick. And then Pietro. Yep, so we'll have some level threes. That's pretty good. Yeah, we're going to have to figure out how we can boost this. Um, they... I think it's more so the ethanol problem. I need to get that under control. Because they do have enough in order to produce cognac. The problem is that now that we have a whole bunch of guys over here that are drinking the hell out of it, um, we're going to need more for Constantinople. Unless I just bite the bullet and just make a whole bunch of level fives here. Don't really want... Well, like, there's an empty spot over here that we can't do much with because I'm not producing chewing gum. Um, it's It seems to be on the doable side now though i will be i'll be frank in saying it the um the lacquer on the other hand this one is awkward because of the ethanol i don't have enough crap over there on hunts hell in order to make it be more lucrative and then this shithole is just ugh. i think um there might Jets need to be okay, okay 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 sorry sorry I, I didn't mean to click on you for that long for you to actually have a a conversation starter what i'm thinking about is um maybe forming a new complex over in this corner or potentially back here out of the trade union or maybe moving these guys because um the space for the these farms or the flour mills monster? is a lot less required than the set the size that these guys need so if i move them back here and then move those guys in front here. I think I'll probably be able to get this situation under control. And I also have more of the these things for Cognac, the Artisan's Workshops. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Because I can't, like, the mod's not working. That That's just the, the long and short of it. And I don't really want to overload Constantinople with a ton of random-ass tall skyscrapers here and there. I can, like inflated just a little bit more and i have been <clears throat> excuse me i just don't see any other spots i'm trying to stay within the um the town halls as well like is this one a good spot my thing is like should i care about the panorama views at this point this one would have to go up. So this is going to be another level 5. We need 60, I think. I think it... You know what? I might retract on what I said before. I think it is doable on Constantinople. But what I'll end up doing is I'm actually just going to like downgrade it after a time. Because I think getting our supply network over to Dishwater and that sh same shit happening over there is going to be a hell in a handbasket. Okay, let's go ahead and build this. We'll find out. Oh, it's 55 then. All the envy they'll feel. Let's get it done. Faster the better. Yeah, this thing's gonna go all the way up to 60. Maybe even more. Oof. Okay, well we have uh, one over here. One over here. This one seems to be going up. We can also bring this one. We need some more timber. Where are my airships? Yeah, we need your timber. Bring that over to Constantinople. On our way. And then where are you? You are here. Um, not really need you over here. I need you to. Pro well, you know what? Probably bring in some steel Engines beams. Engaged. We're also running out on a lot of elevators, so I'm gonna actually. Oh, why am I going here? I'm gonna go here, and uh, there's an old only transport lane that's bringing elevators to Ditchwater. We're gonna delete this route. And you already have a ton, don't you? So let's go ahead and turn it around. And actually send it back to Isengard. I think I'm done with um, any form of... like At least for some time. If anything, I'm going to work on the engineers. And then later on, if I do fix the supply lines well enough, then sure. I can get the rest of these guys at least have a little bit more Skyscraper 5. But yet, yet again, the it, it never fails. The moment I start working on Ditchwater, I'm just kind of like... Oh, this is a problem. Oh, that's a problem. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with that. It's just 
Ditchwater is that island I absolutely love to hate. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, yeah, so 41. Yeah, that's fucking steep. That's so steep. It's art. I mean, the base is looking pretty nasty. Nasty in a good way. We'll see. We shall see. Get that one up. And this one. Where is the town hall? Right here. Yeah, they have no panorama view there. At all. These guys aren't in range now because you can tell if they don't have the chewing gum. That's another one. I think this one's a level four. That's another one done. This is also a level four. It's another one done. What are we sitting at now? Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, if anything, we're going to have to start upgrading in the middle here. Yep. There's a whole spot that I haven't upgraded at all. Typical of me. Yeah, so when we just bring in some timber, we'll be okay. We can continue. 402. Gotta love it. Where is that one? Is it this one? No, that's a level 5. Where is the one that was trying to upgrade? Well, I definitely need to upgrade this one. There it is. There's another one. Is this a four? No, that's a five. Uh, it's difficult to tell now, really. How about we upgrade? We can't do that one. We can do this one, though. Uh, there's a little short one over in here. We can get this one. That's the level five. That one can become a level four. Level four. Five, five, okay. You know what? Let's do um this whole little district. Let's make that all level fives. I think that would kind of look cool. I either eat the best or I don't eat. I say. The nerve. <laughs> Is there a way that I could put like a uh, a town hall over in this corner, maybe? I don't mind it being outside of the wall. No, it just it doesn't fit well. But this one is in range, so I'm gonna work on upgrading that one. Securing their expertise. These guys are also in range. Let me try this one. You're good too, so let's bring that one up as well. What was the last one? 44? Okay, we're at 46 now. Looking good. 47. Forty-eight. We need still beams now. And that is exactly what I'm gonna grab from here. And over to Constantinople. I might as well uh, send a Covenant us to get some more timber as well. I want to see if we can get to work on the next stage. I think we can. I mean, the coffee is definitely stabilized, which is fine. We're importing it, so not much I can really do about all that. I mean, from different angles, it looks fantastic. So it's more so me having a problem with it than anything else. There's another one we can upgrade for sure. In the middle here, we can definitely upgrade more of these guys. But um, do know that I'll eventually start downgrading after I build all the skyline towers I need. 
Because uh, by now, you guys should know, I don't like to spam certain things, and uh, this is definitely one of them. I feel like it just, it detracts from the beauty of the ones that are the tallest. Yeah. But once that behemoth is made, dude, it's going to be like all the way up to here. That, that thing is absolutely ginormous. You want an actual penthouse, Patrick? You're going to get one in this thing. Where is the Antonius? Will you... You're over the rupture. You're going towards the airport. Okay, that makes sense. And then the Comnenos is going to grab some more timber because we need it. And we can also have it come over here. So while they're actually bringing that stuff in, I need to work on beautifying this whole little area down because I don't like all the crates. And the best thing to do, really, is to get, like, the seating arrangements to start. Uh, which way are they facing? And they take away a decent amount of them. Uh, let's get that one right there. You have to be kind of careful. I, I like to see which way they're facing before I actually put it down. And then put, like, random kiosks in the most dense areas i guess and then you can put the trees that looks pretty good that got rid of all four of that one nice that's good that's pretty good have some seating right here that got rid of all of them put that there uh, we'll put a little lamppost right here. I actually knew a guy a long time ago when I used to play RuneScape actively and I had a clan and whatnot. His uh, character name was Lamppost. Interesting dude. Very interesting dude. Not a bad way, I just didn't fully understand him all the time. A seating arrangement there. I'm gonna put a kiosk again over here. It's easier. I don't mind if they're like bordering one another like that, personally. Uh, let's put one of these lamps like right here. Looking good. So we got that section all done. Uh, we have our airships ready to go as well. And all of the steel beams. They should be ready to upgrade now. Yeah, upgrade this one to a four. Looking good. This one can go up. That actually has an intense panorama. So do they all have intense? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine then. It's working. But now it brings it down because I brought the other one up. Okay. And now uh, that definitely is going to go down because I brought that one up. Hey, lucky number. We need four more. Four more of these bad boys. At least to get the next stage started. Where are we going to put them? Three. Two. One. I think we're good now. Nope. One more. Where's the last one? Did I count wrong? I don't think I did. That just was just enough, wasn't it? Uh, upgrade that one. There we go. Uh, we need... Their needs have to be fulfilled, so we'll give them some time in order for that to happen. Let's get back over here to beautify this section. Oh, uh, where is the Enterprise? I need to actually bring it in here. So it kind of just been big chilling. I need to angle it right, so put it, like, right over there. Or, not really. Um, maybe, like, over here-ish, and then it's got to turn and head over to here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Put a couple more of these kiosks down. One kiosk, please. That there, that there. This one here. Oh, that got rid of a lot of them. Nice. Uh, put this one over here. We're gonna get some of the seating arrangements. Them um, in that little spot right there. And this one here. 
I can deal with the crates that are there. I just don't want the crates to be like over in We're this in the area. Presence of a virtuoso. Sure, we can take the mechanic. Let's get some of these little lamps right here. I'll we'll have a tree. Another tree. Wonderful. Yeah, this is just a little way to cheese the whole, like, my peers look like garbage thing. I don't like this one in the middle. Uh, flip it and get rid of it. And do the same here. And we can smooth out the edges a little bit as well. There we go. I think we're good over on this side. Uh, we can put one there. It's smoothing it out. Nice! A very pretty Docklands type area. It doesn't have any crates and crap on it except for here. Which I can live with. Not a big deal. Alright, where is that last one? Right here? Why think of heaven when I've offices like these? Okay, stage three underway. I think we have all we need too to get the next part done. An explosion in one of your factories. You know how many fucking explosions I've had? Holy fuck! My fire broke out. My God, man. Okay, no, no, question, question, question. How are they going to navigate explosions in Anno One One Seven? Please explain that one to me. Or is it going to be cave-ins in the mines? That that would be fucking cruel. Is that enough room? No, I have to get rid of a little bit more. And a little bit more. There we go. Jesus. At least everything else is working. That thing explodes. This thing explodes. I, I had like... Oh, you want to know what the best part about one of the explosions was? This didn't happen on camera, but I legitimately rage. This one exploded, and then this one exploded. It didn't catch on fire. They both exploded. One after another. So, I'm very happy that no one had to hear that, because I legitimately screamed. And they said, play city builders. It's calm and relaxing. Why is it going all the way over to the freaking spectacle factories? What? Oh, come on. Dude, is there no other... Oh, shit. I didn't build any more around here. Whoopsie. Okay. Well, yeah, this, uh, this might be my fault. Might. M maybe. I don't know. Uh, but you know what we have? We have a rescue mission. We're yeah. Adrift. Yeah, we're definitely adrift. Yeah, don't worry about the burning inferno behind us. Oh god, it, it's spreading bad. <laughs> Production has stopped. Where's the next fire station? It's over here. Okay, well they're they're coming to help. <laughs> oh god, yeah, there's a little scooter. Yes, yeah, so find the silver lining where, wherever you can. That's that's really important. Don't let life get you down, okay? Oh, you know what would be really cool is uh does this post oh, office actually oh, it's the boss! I don't think it's actually going to get the Skyline Tower involved. If I were to move it one to the left... No, I can't, because if I do, then I won't have electricity up here. I could always get rid of the restaurant. <laughs> I'll have to figure that one out. That'd be pretty cool. So, uh, what's happening here on Ditchwater? I did uh, promise Naruto Ninja that we we're going to go through a little bit of a walkthrough around here. But what I'll do is I'll upgrade these guys to skyscrapers first. And, uh, yeah. Because uh, we... I don't think we did a walkthrough of Ditchwater after we made it all steampunky, did we? I don't remember. But uh, we can do that now. It's not loading. There we go. It looks cool. I just hate the automated sound on the tops. You can shut those off, it'd been fantastic.
laugh. Yeah, laugh at their leader whom constantly has explosions. <laughs> they are very pretty buildings. Oh, seeing that taxi cab reminded me. thrilling! A renowned personage has arrived. Ah, my, I don't care. Um, so, uh, I watched National Security with, uh, Steve Lawrence and, uh, uh Steve Zahn. Is this Steve? I don't remember. Is that thing? I don't remember. But, um, Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence and, uh, Steve Zahn. And, uh, that is probably one of my favorite movies from, like, way back. God, there's this part where, um, they're trying to... So, essentially, the story is that... Um, Steve Zahn's character was a police officer. Martin Lawrence's character was just trying to become a police officer, but he was a screw-up. And um, one thing led to another that Steve Zahn's character was uh, removed from the force because of um, attempted battery, right? But not not a good thing, obviously. But um, so they both join uh, the national security group. And eventually, like, because they hate each other at the beginning of the movie and whatnot, then they become partners. I heard something that's destroyed in the back. Um, but uh, there's a scene where they're trying to commandeer a vehicle, and this lady drives up in, like, a minivan. <laughs> Steve Zahn just yells, like, Yo, oh, stop! National security! <laughs> National security! I'm commandeering this vehicle! Let me see that badge! Please just step out of the car, man. Don't you raise your voice at me. She, he opens the door and screams in her face, Get out of the damn car! She starts smacking him in the face like, <laughs> Did your mama teach you any manners? At least you could ask me nicely. <laughs> and when they, they actually, like, the woman's driving them around as if, like, she's just a taxi in that way. And Martin Lawrence turns to him and is like, this is what you call commandeering a vehicle? <laughs> you want to shut the hell up? Don't you be using that language in my car! Sorry. <laughs> uh, with that being said, I'm also going to jack this bus. Okay, return it. I'm not- oh god, okay. Really busy streets, I like it. Oh god, the kid's- oh shit. I didn't know that kid actually gets scared. Yeah, I really like the pipe network. I think that's probably my favorite out of all the ornaments. Yeah, they all have anarchist signs, man. I'm worried. Can I uh, go over these tracks? No, you can't. Rip. Get out of my way. Oh, we went through the damn bridge. Okay, and then this is the way here. <laughs> I ain't no taxi, I'm a runaway bus. Oh, crap. No, I don't want to run him over. Can you go over these things? No, you can't. This is the road that's going to go all the way in the far back to the airport. I really do the like the church skin stopped. as well. And then once we have enough oil here and it's stable, we're going to get this power plant up and running so we can get these guys into skyscrapers as well. And we have our airport over here. Uh, airships have not arrived quite yet, but they will eventually. I've never walked around this area. Let me get out of the bus. I don't know why I'm like this with ditch water. I, I really truthfully don't. I don't know what to tell you. Oh look, you can see Constantinople skyscrapers from here. It's all it's dead ahead. You see it? Oh, that's so sick. You can see the bank, you can see all those skyscrapers. And eventually you're gonna see that behemoth there. Damn. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. I'm glad I did this walkthrough now. That made it worth it.
All right, let's get out of this. Big open area over here. We're gonna have to work on that. Oh, what's this? Oh, interrogate the workers. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it makes a grand difference to us, boss. Very good of you, it is. We'll raise a glass to you at the pub tonight. Okay. Can you work a little bit faster, though? A mistake! You'll never hear the end of it. They'll cook up more trouble and come running back to you, expecting a handout. No, they'll be fine, man. Just relax. Okay, now, I am of the opinion of fast-forwarding the game to see if I can actually fit this within the time that we have left. So let's see what happens. And in the meanwhile, we can always just look at our beautiful city at the same time. I, I didn't think that you'd be able to see the skyscrapers from all the way over there. Because we were, like, in that back corner, looking at this direction. Yeah, we were over there where the bank is. Oh, God, not this tool again. Fight if we must. Give me something good. Don't make it trashy. Uh, whatever. I can donate it. How's it looking? Why is it... No production? Because they don't have any goods in there. They're, they're bringing it, like, at snail speed. I don't think we're going to be able to get that done, then. Too late for record time, but at least we'll still smash the height record. True. Okay, yeah, we'll just keep it on regular speed then, if that's the case. Um, I want to see, like, we need to actually get some specialists into here for our artisans. We also need to work on a little bit of beautification around the corners, because, like, we have empty spots over here. So let me just go ahead and get the tempered grow, because that's my favorite. And just start putting it, like, over in this side. We're going to do the same over here. So like they can have this area all beautified, make it look really nice and pretty. Man, it's it's crazy. Like I went and actually watched one of the old videos because somebody actually commented on one of the shorts. I think it was the Theodosian Wall short from way back, um, asking which episode this was in. So I went and looked at. I watched a little bit of the episode and like seeing this entire freaking place barren was just like whoa. How much work we've actually put into this whole settlement is crazy. There we go. I'm going to start changing a little bit of the skins around so they don't look the same. Those worker homes? Whatever. We can have worker homes here. Not, I, I won't be that, that person. Do random clicks all over. Like, if it goes over one another, it's fine. That way I can actually, like, have a little bit of variety in here. That's fine. Uh, we do the same up here. Uh, none of them are, like, destabilizing. I don't know what it is with Anno. Like, sometimes the, the building skins just destabilize and they, like, vanish for a time. I don't understand. But yeah, we need to get some uh, better specialists into here, um, definitely, so we can have more of these guys a actually pop up. A wash with milk and honey. I mean, I could just give them overseas mail. Regional mail is definitely a problem. Did I ever bring paper here? I don't think I did. I don't believe I did, but if I need to, I will send an, a ship over there right now. Paper, yeah. What use is Dunder Mifflin if it's not actually producing paper? Okay, let's use the HMS Tube Worm 3. From Dunder Mifflin, I need all of your paper. And you have a lot of paper, holy crap. Okay, head it over to Constantinople for me, please. Boom. And we'll put that in the top of room route. So we'll have paper for these guys as well. We'll have some more artisans. Which we met. In one of your factories. <laughs> what the? Which the one? Broke out. Fuck off. Which one? Okay. All right. At least it wasn't the one in the back. Yeah. Oh. I Production put two. Stopped. 
Oh my god. Okay. Look, I, I really appreciate this voice actor. Put a lot of work into this. Okay, into his job and everything. Fantastic individual, but I'm tired of hearing his voice sometimes. Christ. Okay. I implore you to act. With each day, the risks become greater. It's paramount that we check the state of the lower floors and the columns. Fine. No surveys. I hate surveys. This isn't the first or the last tower built in my name. Just make sure those workers aren't slacking. And get me a copy. Gaelic. Okay, I'll get you a coffee, but at the same time, I don't want this thing to go woo, down. Where the hell is the ruin? Mother. What a relief. I'll get to it right away. You won't regret taking the time to do this. Thank you. Okay, so we're checking the stability of the tower. Estimated two minutes. Okay, we're not waiting for that at all. Okay, so we uh, did a fair amount of uh, upgrading here today. I have a feeling we're actually going to have to get around 70 of these towers um, in order to uh, get up to the next level. But uh, here's like one. That's actually not bad. I'm, I'm glad that it's not really screwing with the panorama that, mad, that bad. Um, celebrate your leadership. But yeah, it's looking pretty, pretty badass. Ultimately, when this thing goes up, it's going to be massive. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very excited for it. So... As usual, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button, share it with your friends. Really appreciate you guys all being here. I'm so, um, I want you guys, if you want, to give me suggestions for additional mods to put into the list for the next playthrough that we do that's going to be heavily modded. Please feel free to message me on Discord. You can message me here. If you haven't joined the Discord, links in the description. As always, I appreciate you being here, and I'll catch you on the next episode.